Sports with Carl Deffenbaugh. Notre Dame is in the Big Apple for the big dance. Sports director Pete Byrne and Adam Derengowski are following the team in advance of Friday night's NCAA opener and have much more from New York City. Greetings from the NCAA tournament in Brooklyn, New York. Pete Byrne alongside Adam Derengowski here at the Barclays Center where tomorrow night on this court, Notre Dame and Michigan will face off in the final game of the night in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Just bringing here in this setting, Adam, is special for the Notre Dame players. We had a chance to talk to several of them this afternoon before they worked out here at the Barclays Center. Of course, the Irish made it all the way to the Elite Eight a year ago, nearly advancing to the Final Four. And they say that the confidence that they gained making a deep run in the tournament a year ago gives them confidence heading into their opener tomorrow. Yeah, man, it's, it's amazing to be back here. Um, you know, we're fortunate and blessed to be back, you know, playing in the March Madness. Um, and, you know, it's fun. Does being back in the tournament this year bring back fond memories from a year ago? Yeah, it definitely does. You know, we want to relive those memories, you know, and, you know, maybe even take it a little further. But to be back in it after a magical run last year and be oh so close to the Final Four, um, it's exciting for me. But I think for our guys, it kind of gives them a little bit of confidence. Right. There's a nucleus of guys in this locker room here that, remembered how it was to survive in advance and it was surviving and advancing for us and that's what it'll be again so they they've already lived it and uh god i want us playing the win we're going for it uh, we're attacking i don't want us playing looking over our shoulder does having been through it and had having success create a, a different level of belief yes there's no question i think this is a group that expects to be playing for a while. So great fives for the Irish, and they're hoping for similar success, but things aren't exactly the same. Last year's team was the defending conference champ. Yeah, one of the hottest teams in the country coming into the national tournament, fresh off a win in the ACC championship game. But this year, stumbled a little bit, suffering their worst loss of the season in the ACC semifinals to North Carolina. But the Irish know that in order to bounce back in the NCAA tournament, all they are going to have to do is play loose and play Irish basketball. Yeah, I think it just happens. We just got to continue to find ourselves, uh, be patient. It's going to come there. You know, not every side's going to fall down. So uh, just coming back out with that confidence is really key. And coming back out here with, with smiles and then, you know, just go out there and have fun. You know, you can't just be stiff. And I feel like if you play great on defense, that, that allows our offense to flow a little bit better. So getting those stops, getting those rebounds bounce, diving on loose the ball for loose balls. That helps us get our juices flowing for the offense. Making sure, you know, I take care of the ball, making sure, you know, I'm quarterback of the team, getting guys where they need to be, dishing the ball, distributing the ball, and being in attack mode. You know, in the ACC tournament, they were really careless with the basketball, not very characteristic of the Fighting Irish. So it really all starts with the play of Demetrius Jackson. So if he can take care of the ball, the Irish should be just fine. All right, we've got lots more coverage with the Notre Dame basketball team right now, which you can see on the WSBT Sports app. Irish and Michigan, last game of the day tomorrow. So they're going to tip off at roughly 945. We will be carrying the game live here on WSBT 22. For Adam Derengowski, I'm Pete Byrne reporting from the NCAA tournament in Brooklyn, New York. Back to you.